space experts have found, utilizing our new 10 billion toy, the James Webb Space Telescope, that they'll leave plan a very long time before that task turns into a reality. On the off chance that it goes according to plan, the excursion to Proxima will require around 20 years. So, all things considered, it will be quite a few years before we can affirm assuming there is to be sure life on that planet. The deep-rooted question, would we say we are genuinely alone in this universe? The James Webb Telescope has found some unhumanesque things a long ways off from Earth, driving us nearer to the military response. Our quest for life beyond us has been widespread all through every human development, to such an extent that we have a great many media writings and speculations regarding this matter. Our miracle with respect to our place and dejection in the universe has been steady, as though it is imbued within us to constantly look for a friend, regardless of how outsider-like we could possibly be finding increasingly close to the solutions we genuinely care about. However, would they say they are genuinely the responses we are searching for, or on the other hand, would they say they are significantly more scared? Join us as we investigate the most recent discovery in the domains of universes and planets on the journey to find something we could possibly not be ready to observe. Lights a long ways off. Scientists have found what could be the most earth-shattering disclosure ever back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to send off an extremely fascinating speculative inquiry about the capacities of our innovation. The inquiry was whether later on our telescopes could recognize fake light on another planet. For instance, Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth, is in the habitable zone of our closest neighbor, the small star Proxima Centauri, around 4.25 light-years away. Since the exoplanet was multiple times closer to its star than Earth is from the Sun, Proxima b was accepted to be tidally lowed, with a super-durable dayside and nightside like our moon. A speculative innovative human progress on Proxima b could move intensity and power from the day side to the night side utilizing photovoltaic cells that produce power out of starlight. Consequently, in a paper with Manus Lingum as one of the scientists, it was shown that huge inclusion of the day side by sunlight-based chargers could be recognized with future telescopes. Since JWST was further developed, it would permit us to expand our quest for counterfeit lights to livable exoplanets like Proxima b. Presently, in 2024, it is conceivable that the James Webb Space Telescope did precisely that. Utilizing its higher responsiveness and greater scope of capacities, the JWST could have found the lights we were searching for and conceivably flung us into one more huge flood of human advancement. All in all, let us jump into the universe of planets and exoplanets to figure out how this was even conceivable. James Webb's central goal investigates Proxima Centauri's privileged sites. Over the entire course of time, people have pondered the idea of the universe. What are we? Where do we come from and where do we go? These are normal yet very troublesome inquiries man has attempted to reply when he acquired awareness. Presently, in the time of dramatic mechanical progression, one contemplates whether we are any nearer to any of the above questions. On the off chance that you would ask a philosopher, he would most likely say we are currently at level zero of figuring out ourselves in the universe. On the off chance that you ask a space expert exactly the same thing, watch him bounce around in fervor as he hurries to let you know the most recent revelation people made about the universe utilizing their clever apparatuses. These apparatuses, albeit not given a lot of consideration to by the normal public, are straightforwardly an indication of human development itself. We currently have the world readily available, and it is time we push ahead head and get the universe readily available also. One such method for doing that has been concluded by researchers and stargazers. It is through the innovation we harness a particular making of said innovation that is currently answerable for the new revelation of what could light on an alternate planet light years away. Indeed, we're discussing the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation conceived out of the conventions of human campaigns into space to address several ever-presented questions. Would we say we are separated from everyone else? Who is out there? Where do we start and where do we end? Indeed, this infrared stargazing instrument has proactively started answering these inquiries, albeit to some degree. Indeed, first, you could wind up asking what even is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b or just Proxima b? is once in a while alluded to as Alpha Centauri b. It is a super-Earth and circles an M-type star. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth yet lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are genuinely standout. 
They can be comprised of gas, rock, or even a mix of both, and their sizes can change from two times the size of Earth the entire way to multiple times its mass. They truly put thee in super-Earth. Huh? Concerning Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, implying that a planet crosses outside the planetary system. The absolute first conceivable proof of an exoplanet was viewed as in 1917, despite the fact that it figured out how to work up little interest and acknowledgement. Be that as it may, in 1992 the main affirmed identification happened, which left researchers stunned. Another exoplanet, an alternate one which was first recognized in 1988, was affirmed in 2003. As of the 1st of April, 2024, there are 5,653 affirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary frameworks. Out of them, 896 frameworks had more than one planet. These grand and revelations are circling an M-type star. At the present time, to make sense of the M-type star, you genuinely want to figure out the red diminutive person. A red diminutive person is the littlest sort of star in the primary sequence. Hence the name. In the adjoining locals of the sun, red midgets are, by a wide margin, the most well-known kind of star to be tracked down in a smooth manner. They have extremely low iridescence since iridescence is one of our principal apparatuses for planet discovery and different kinds of allowances. Red diminutive people are not that simple to notice. The slippery stars have variable definitions and names, relying upon their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M smaller person or M type primary grouping stars yield a maximum temperature of 3,900 K, hence getting their name and qualities. Returning to Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Strangely, it requires only 11.2 days to finish one circle of its star contrasted with our 365.25 days. You can gauge the size of the star Proxima b is circling. Incredibly under the estimation of the entire electromagnetic range, the star has an all-out radiance of just around 0.16% that of the Sun. Also, in the noticeable light range, its radiance appears to dull much more as it seems fainter. It just illuminates 0.056% of the sun's iridescence in the noticeable light range, transmitting a fundamentally less measure of light energy when contrasted with the sun. More than 85% of its produced energy is as infrared radiation. Circling around 0.04856 astronomical units away from its star, Proxima b's disclosure was declared way back in 2016. You may be asking why Proxima b, a huge number of stars, planets, and systems. So, for what reason would we say we are so focused on this particular heavenly body? Indeed, there are a couple of reasons that add to the distinct fascination cosmologists have here. Proxima b, most importantly, is the nearest known star to our sun and, by definition, us. Albeit 4.2 light years is a major number to us earthlings, in the fantastic plan of the universe, it is a simple blip. Thus, Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high up on the need list. Right now, it is likewise a piece of the triple star framework called Alpha Centauri. Furthermore, in spite of the fact that Proxima b's iridescence is exceptionally low, the actual framework shows up as perhaps the most splendid star grouping in the night sky, just behind two others called Sirius and Canopus. Nonetheless, the most fascinating thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it could possibly be habitable since it falls under the habitable zone. The conceivable outcomes surrounding the star are endless, and hence, cosmologists have taken on the undertaking to explore the profundities and cut-off points of the capability of the star. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. As the JWST proceeds with its investigation of the said exoplanet, we get increasingly close to the completion of these missions from SETI to exoplanets looking for outsider life. So, what precisely is SETI? Taking into account that people have forever been an inquisitive animal varieties, prodding and pushing into in a real sense everything without exception that moves and doesn't move, it's a good idea that a journey like SETI appeared on such an enormous scope. Envision that God has coordinated a fabulous, enormous expedition. However, with a curve rather than gold, we are entrusted with watching out for signals all the more explicitly electromagnetic murmurs, from developments beyond anything we could ever imagine. SETI is short for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and it is our aggregate work to recognize indications of smart life prowling in the midst of the stars. 
our interest continues forever. Directly back in the mid-1900s, not long after radio innovation came into human use, virtuosos like Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi concocted a novel thought. They really hoped for utilizing these novel contraptions to make a genuine connection with the stars straightforwardly. Tesla even ventured to fancy the thought of visiting up with Martians utilizing his remote transmission framework. Quick forward to the swinging 60s, and we end up amidst Project Osmo, the brainchild of the brave cosmologist Frank Drake. Outfitted with a powerful radio telescope and a solid portion of interest, Drake scanned the grandiose wireless transmissions for indications of something going on under the surface. Yet unfortunately, his endeavors came up with nothing. However, the brave hunt went ahead with researchers all over the planet tuning in their radio wires to the cosmic ensemble. In the meantime, over in the Soviet Association, our companions across the Iron Curtain were likewise enthused about the cosmic prattle. Driven by the celebrated Iosif Shklovsky, Soviet researchers turned their radio wires heavenward, looking for those tricky transmissions from the stars. What's more, hence, the stage was set for a grandiose confrontation. Yet pause. What's this? A strange sign got through the vast commotion, bringing the jabber and nerves up to a record-breaking high. Named the goodness signal, it sent shockwaves through established researchers. As the years moved by, the quest for grandiose buddies just intensified. From the bag set to the ambitious Project Cyclops, researchers went all out in their journey to disentangle the grandiose mystery. And afterward, in a fortunate turn of events, or maybe destiny, a coded radio transmission from Mars graced our Hubble telescopes, lighting the flares of interest again. Be that as it may, what does that investigation truly resemble now? Also, how far have people progressed regarding space campaigns, lights on Proxima b? In a 2021 exploration paper named Perceptibility of Fake Lights from Proxima b, specialists Elisa Taba and Abraham Loeb set off on a mission to research the potential for identifying counterfeit lights from the clouded side of Proxima b. Since Proxima b is a planet situated in the habitable zone of its star, the review planned to survey whether Proxima b could possibly support smart life and how to identify it. In the wake of featuring Proxima b's importance as an objective in the quest for extraterrestrial life, they unveiled the juicy yet to some degree startling subtlety. The new speculative radio transmission identification from Proxima b's course. It's not later, as it was gotten yesterday, yet when your area of exploration is strict space where data requires light years to travel, everything is a forward leap creating a huge buzz among the science and stargazing fan local area. The conditional radio transmission added one more layer of stunning, yet a thrilling mystery that space experts can hardly hold back to reveal. The transmission was identified by the Advancement Listen Project and addresses a possible contender for an extraterrestrial radio emission originating from the area of Proxima Centauri, the host star of Proxima b. The Advancement Listen Project, sent off in 2015, meant to study the sky for signals indicative of mechanical civilizations beyond Earth. It is for the sake of getting through the obstructions of space and tuning in for any kind of organization. By utilizing cutting-edge radio telescopes and information examination methods, the undertaking's inquiry happened for quite a while. On account of the speculative radio transmission from Proxima b, the story is very valuable. Cosmologists dealing with the undertaking identified a narrow band discharge at a recurrence of roughly 982 MHz. This recurrence falls within the reach commonly associated with counterfeit radio transmissions, for example, those utilized for correspondence purposes on the planet. It was a thrilling revelation that made the way for an entirely separate range of potential outcomes. Despite the fact that the notice signal has not been convincingly ascribed to an extraterrestrial beginning and may have elective clarifications, the disclosure is as yet a huge outcome in humanity's set of experiences. With the signal set up, presently came an opportunity to assess the call. The Advancement Listen Group completely led follow-up observations as well as information examination to examine the signal further. The objective was to assess its probability of being of extraterrestrial beginning. Albeit the sign has been investigated to the sun and back, authoritative ends are impractical as of now. The huge void space we call the universe isn't generally so basic as we would like. Complexities, aggravations, and obstructions from earthly sources can and will mutilate the outcomes. Concerning cosmologists, they can't push ahead with twisted results. 
since space undertakings need outrageous precision on each aspect and a huge load of cash to be executed effectively. Committing an error in view of an uncertain response is simply impossible.